What up? In case you're wondering what we're doing here in a block of HTV flats, well, we're gonna try some legendary Mee Pok cooked by a Japanese family and one of the cooks actually is their 18-year-old daughter. What was I doing at 18 years old? Nothing, really. So we're gonna try her awesome Mee Pok right now. Let's go! What's that? An apron? This means I'm gonna be eating a lot, right? No? What does it mean then? Am I, am I cooking? I hate you guys so much sometimes. <gasps> But it's okay. Challenge accepted. Let's go. Hey, Rina. Hello. Konnichiwa. Konnichiwa. <laughs> uh, my Japanese is really bad, but I hear that we're gonna cook some mee pok today. Ah, yeah. Okay. Is it very difficult? Uh, quite difficult. Quite difficult. I'm done for. How long will we take to do this? One minute to two to five minutes? I might take 15 minutes. So are you ready to teach me? I'm very bad at cooking. I am. Okay, she's ready. Let's go. <laughs> okay, so this is actually the first time ever on Try and Taste It that I'm behind a Hawker Center stall. So this is my first time with Rina. Thank you so much for teaching me. What what is the first step that we're gonna do here to cook Mee Pok? So we set this up, then you put inside. It's hot! <laughs> okay. Hey, watch out, y'all. Michelin star stuff coming your way. Okay. Ah, okay. Oh, I gotta be quick. Okay. On the timer. On the timer? Yeah. Why are there so many things to do? Yeah, you take oh, oh, the timer's up. So, so I take it up. I think I put too much sauce. Okay, I got this. One. Oh, oh put a thick out. Oh. Oh my god, there's one loss in there. Okay, that's all. That's all? Yeah. That's it? Yeah, that's it. I made my first bowl of mee pok. Da -da -da. How do you think it'll taste? Will it be the same as the one you cooked? I think so. <laughs> okay, well, now it's time for you to cook your own bowl. Okay. And we will compare okay. and see whose is better. Okay. Okay, yours will be better lah, okay. for sure. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so Rina, we're gonna try the mee pok now. Uh, this is the bowl that I made. This is the bowl that you made. But we're gonna swap bowls now. <laughs> so that I can try yours. And you can try mine and give me comments. So you try and you tell me how it tastes. Okay. And I'll try yours and I'll tell you whether it's oishine. Okay. Okay, <laughs> okay so here it goes. Mm. This is really addictive. <laughs> really good. So, what are your comments? Noodle stick. <laughs> the noodle stick. <laughs> so, I didn't put enough sauce. Not enough stuff. Oh. Yeah, don't, don't okay. be difficult. Yeah. Mm. So, it's more like the technique mm. that I failed at, basically. Because, <laughs> as you can tell, her noodles are like nice and soft and glistening, and they don't stick. But that one, <laughs> sticking. So the wonderful thing about this Mee Pok is that, like she said earlier, it doesn't stick and clearly I didn't have that technique down so it's all in the hand and the wrist. Also, there is seriously a generous portion of sauce, just gravy and wonderful ingredients inside as well which leaves you very satisfied. So this is perfect if you want to satisfy your craving for a localised bowl of Mee Pok from a Japanese family. So. Our whole Mee Pok has been tried and tasted. <laughs> Download the free 8 Days Eat app for food news, honest reviews and the newest eateries in town. 987 TV, your most social media.